So I'm gonna make the uh, touch engine uh, actor. So I'm gonna add the new folder. So I call it uh, TD. And I'm gonna add the new folder in the TD. I'm gonna name it TE. That is the abbreviation of the touch engine. So uh, I'm gonna add the, I'm gonna do blueprint. And I open the old class. You can search it touch engine. And I'm gonna add the touch engine actor. So I'm gonna name it uh, TE. Receive talks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open. So you can see uh, the parent class is uh, the parent class is a touch engine actor, and the touch engine actor has a touch engine component that has a function that you can get the uh, input or you can set the uh, you can get the output. You can set the input uh, to the talks. So if you click on them, so you need to go the event class. And if you scroll down, uh, you can see the at uh, the bunch of the event uh, that we can use. So on Tox loaded is a uh, call it when the touch engine is called the Tox file. Oh, they have uh, always like description. Uh, so that's really helpful to use. So mainly uh, we're gonna use the on set input and then uh, on output let's see. So uh, and, and compile and then save it. So next uh, I'm gonna. Uh, to the uh, talks to the this file so i'm gonna add the new folder uh, name is talks okay so and then uh if i open the content folder uh, in the folder so you mm -hmm. can see the td and you also can see the talks file uh talks folder and i'm gonna uh drop the talks talks that we already made this elastic. So I'm gonna uh, and paste it here, which is file. If you uh, place the talks to the Unreal Engine folder, so the Unreal Engine automatically detected the change. And then if you update the change, uh, you can uh, see the elastic stock class, which is really like, cool, right? How they make it? I'm really not sure how to do that. So, okay, so let's go back to the TE uh, receive tox. So you can see the touch engine component. And if you set the tox here, so it's still to loading. So, and then uh, touch engine component uh, can use editor mode. So you don't need to, you know, run the pie. But it's now I don't do that because it's it's sometimes it's broke. Uh, the Unreal Engine, you know, like uh, down, get down. So and then I'm gonna change the cook mode to the synchronized. And then so if you uh, compile this one, so you can see the component X uh, setting, and you can see the parameters that we already. Uh, you know, like a space made it so like call my speed and output is a pause out scale up right so which is really cool so uh you can uh set the uh, this parameter in blueprint so to do that so i'm gonna drag to the here and i'm gonna just set uh touch engine input no, touch engine parameter the name is low so make sure the same name uh in here and I'm gonna be and paste it and I change the name is call and I'm gonna con connect it. Also, I'm gonna add the new variable. One name is num x and then it's int not float. And I'm gonna uh, duplicate it, the name num y and it should be a public. And I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna uh, hook it up and I'm gonna do the same thing for num y. So uh, setting the parameter is like this. So uh, I want to uh, get the uh, this uh, this post out uh, top, and then top uh, is uh, converted as a texture 2D in Unreal Engine. So probably you never heard of that, but it's don't worry, just a texture, and like a texture 2D, texture. 2D. Did I say text 2D? So it means the texture 2D. So to do that, so I'm gonna get the uh, touch engine component, and I'm gonna uh, at the get touch engine output, and the name is a pause out. So make sure the same name to the here. And then I'm gonna add that is uh, buried, uh, is buried not that one, this one. Here, and I'm gonna connect it to here. And I'm gonna uh, double click uh, on the line on the node, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cast to texture to the as I said. 
So also they have a uh, result variant. So and I'm gonna add that lunch lunch and I connect it to Barrett. And I'm gonna add the remote variable. I'm gonna call it uh post uh text D. and I'm gonna set uh this texture to the post X post text to D. It's cool. So I'm gonna copy this one and paste it. And I'm gonna delete the post text and I'm gonna up to promote the variable. I call it uh scale text. 2D. All right. So, and then don't forget to change their output name. And uh, usually uh, get the uh, menu output. So I recommend to use the sequence one so you can make it query. So this is for the post uh, out text. This is for the scale out text. Okay. Also, uh, I'm going to add the event dispatcher. Uh, so name I'm gonna uh, call it on uh, receive uh, checks, and I'm gonna uh, add the new parameter one two, and the first one is of course post uh, post text uh, to the and then type is a uh, texture to the and select the object to request. So next one is a scale scale uh, text. Uh, to D was post text scale text to D and I'm gonna call it text no, texture oh, no text to D come on yes to D and then so I'm gonna add the pin new one and then uh, I'm gonna uh, drag to the post text to D and the get one but it's I'm gonna change to the convert to the variable get so it's a combine with the get and this is variable. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the get scale text 2D. Let's do that. Okay, and I'm gonna put uh, the node up here, and also I'm gonna click up here. So and then I'm gonna drag and drop on receive this, and I'm gonna drag and drop here, and you're gonna uh, set the call, and then post text it here, uh, text 2D is here. So uh, I want to uh, separate the function uh, on the uh, receiving the talks and applying uh, the t applying the texture to the Niagara part. So that's good, you know, like uh, make it, uh, how do you say, make it dependent. <sighs> okay, finally, uh, we're gonna make the Niagara part. So I'm gonna add the new folder and X and I'm gonna add the Niagara system and create empty system and call it MF uh, genet. So I'm gonna open it and you compile to save and I'm gonna add the emitter. So I'm gonna choose the empty. In the first of all, I'm gonna uh, add the user parameters. So I'm gonna click the this plus button and search it. Mm, uh, int. I'm gonna call it numx. So I'm gonna add uh, another int and call it num y and I'm gonna add the texture to the no okay text and I'm gonna call it post text and I'm gonna add another one another texture call it I'm gonna call it a text and num x is six and num y is y as a default so I'm gonna uh, make the uh, button so first of all I'm gonna change the life cycle mode uh, to the cell and complete infinite in infinite one right so next one is uh, I'm gonna uh, spawn uh spawn particle something great this spawn particles in the grid and I'm gonna uh I'm gonna click on fix issue and I'm gonna drop and drop to the Namex to the X Y to here. No way, Y to here. And that way equal one. And also I'm gonna uh, delete the spy to renderer and I'm gonna add the mesh renderer. And I'm gonna select it the uh, cube. Right. And I'm gonna so uh let's go to the initialize vertical and the uh, uh, life is 10 for example okay. and the mesh attribute and the scale mesh is uh uniform and the mesh scale is 2.1 okay uh we can uh place uh the box let's go to look so 
I'm gonna go to the quick location and then so uh, I'm gonna change the dimension definition to the bounding box and I'm gonna check the line to quick and I'm gonna change the slide dimension to 100 100 100 no that quick bigger mm, anyway and I'm gonna change the property uh, to the not CPU I'm gonna change the DPU and then we need to change the uh, calculate the bounds mode and uh, I'm gonna set the fix and uh, everything minus I'm gonna see and paste oh my gosh I'm gonna copy it and then paste it here paste here is 500 I'm gonna copy and paste it paste it all oh, right so and I'm gonna add the uh, new uh, particle attribute so uh this is not Vector 2, vector 2D, and the grid uh, UV. And I'm gonna set the grid UV at the uh, particle spawn. So I'm gonna uh, make vector 2D. And I'm gonna add float. And next one is uh, make a vector. No, make float from vector. Make float from the vector. So, and I'm gonna search the grid UVW, which is produced by a uh, grid location. And I'm gonna say X and B is I'm gonna uh, divide it float and A is 0.5, B is a uh, uh, make float from it. And I'm gonna add the nav here. All right, cool. So if you uh, press the control C on the add rod and if you uh, paste on the Y, you can copy and paste. So I'm gonna change the Y. And this is not num Y, uh, it's num X. All right. So uh, if you see, uh, if you want to uh, what uh, UV uh, they have, so if you go to the capture uh, attribute spread C, and if you click on the capture, and if you click particle GPU, so you can see here a uh, grid UV to X and Y. So zero has a zero point zero zero eight three like that. Okay. Next is a particle update. So I'm gonna update the rock. So and then fix it. So next, I'm gonna add the sample texture so that we can sample the texture. So I want to use the dispose text first. So I'm gonna drag. No way. No. So if you click on here, post text, you can choose it. And then this is a super important. So you need to uh, specify the grid UV to here so that you can uh, get the uh, texture from the UV. And then uh, I'm gonna uh, select the position here. So if I uh, drag and drop here, so and then I'm gonna change the convert vector to position and the first row is a make vector next is uh, here is the remap, remap range if the value is uh, uh, if you search the sample text and then we're gonna use all because uh, we already made it position by uh, uh to we already did, uh, made position uh, with the text and that is x and the 0 to 1 to, I'm gonna change the minus 50 to 50. So if you copy here and paste it here, you can change it. But don't forget to change it here. So sample C. So for that, so I'm gonna change the make a float from the vector. And the vector is a convert position to the vector. I'm gonna select the position that is a variable here. And the channel is set. So this uh it can uh be the same position for the x uh of the last frame cool but we can't uh we don't set the position text so we need to mm, we need to uh we need to save the now uh, one of the text from the talks so i'm gonna compile save it so let's go back to the uh, touch grid so you can open the uh, this touch uh this talks <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Then, then, and uh, then jump into the, uh, in the, uh, uh, in the tux. And I'm gonna add a movie, uh, file out. And they change to the, not movie, is image. And the image type is uh, pink. And then name is change to, uh, post X. So let's record it. All right, so I'm gonna turn another file out. 
I'm gonna change the uh, connection uh, and the name is not positive scale uh, text and the code. So if you go to the uh, order of the T particle and go to the content order T D and I think talks. So yeah, we already uh, saved the post text. So I'm gonna uh, quit this talks and go back to the Unreal Engine. So uh, they already uh, detected the change. So I'm gonna import it. So if you see the uh, inside of the talks folder, we already have a post text in the scale. So I'm gonna add the post text here and I'm gonna add the scale uh, text here. Yeah, you can see uh, the text is already changed, but it's not correct because uh, Tox is always uh, moving. But it's okay, it's for the you know, default uh, mode. So I just want to check what's going on. Okay, next one is uh, also sample text. This is for the scale, right? So which one? Scale. And this is important. So where's grid UV? Grid UV. I'm gonna uh, drop to the gear. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the uh, scale as well. Here, here. So this is a uh, quite simple. So I'm gonna make to uh, make vector, and then this is a uh, multiply float, and I'm gonna select the uh, sample texture zero zero one. So not this one because this is for uh, post text. So I'm gonna set the zero to one sample now, and I'm gonna copy and paste it, and I'm gonna change the sample zero zero one G, and this is uh, uh, okay. So multiply float for that, and then uh, the first input is a. Uh, so you need to search the curve, go to open the curve, and I'm gonna uh, select the this one, and I'm gonna e and select to the here the zero point two five, and I'm gonna add another key, and then type is out, out, and zero point seven eight. The value is one, and you change the here. Okay, then B is a uh, at. Float and zero point zero two and B is also multi <laughs> so many so many uh so many modules I'm so sorry but it's, I want to change it because like uh, it makes it it makes uh beautiful so I'm gonna select it here is a sample texture zero zero one B and B is a uh, way zero point three so I'm gonna uh, scale color. And then uh, I'm gonna to make uh, from a linear color ZD. Yeah, this is random from the linear color. So I'm gonna select uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and the maximum is uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Okay, so I want to uh, make the because like uh, this is a pivoted center, but I want to change the uh, pivot to the bottom center so to do that so i'm gonna go back to the level and i'm gonna go, go to the uh, modeling tool so if you click on the box and we can uh, make the box and accept it so this is already people take the uh, collect position yes and uh, i'm gonna click on this and i'm gonna change the name uh cube uh tom uh sent and in the nayaga lag particle and i'm gonna select the cube uh bottom center right so i want to also make the uh material so i'm gonna add the new folder so the call is material and i'm gonna add the new material and uh, uh, what name do you want? Genetic. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add the uh, particle color. So I'm gonna collect, connect the RGB to the base color. And uh, also, I want to use dynamic theon. Uh, so, dynamic material parameter, parameter. So, and then I'm gonna connect to the miss color. 
Right, and go back to the Naive particle, so you can uh, override the material, so if you click on here, and I'm gonna element, open up, and I'm gonna select the uh, name, uh, gen... yes, you can change the color. So, and then I'm gonna add the dynamic material parameters here, then we're gonna use the only this one, so I'm gonna change the name of a parameter one, so that is emit, put. Save it and also I'm gonna save this one as well. So if we use start this one, okay, cool. So now we can uh set uh the this uh, parameter uh to uh in the now we can uh set the parameter uh in the real time uh using the blueprint. So I'm gonna close this one, close this one, and I'm gonna change the section and I'm gonna edit this. So I'm gonna add the uh New folder called Blueprints, and I'm gonna add the new one is an actor, so name is BP uh, Part, and I'm gonna open up, and I'm gonna add the Niagara Particle System component. So I'm gonna add the uh, uh, several uh, variables here. So first is a uh, post X D, name it uh, no uh, texture 2D, texture 2D. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. Name is AIO uh, text 2D. I'm gonna add a new uh, block. Is a uh, call. I'm gonna call it Namex. So the type is float. And I'm gonna duplicate it this one. So that is a num white and duplicate it. Need it. And also I'm gonna add a TE actor. Touch engine actor. Type is no no TE. Uh, let's see box which I already uh, make, and it's gonna be a public. And, and compile to save, and if we go to the event graph, uh, we're gonna add the first event. Uh, first, I'm gonna call it set Niagara uh, parse, and I'm gonna uh, drag the Niagara, and I'm gonna add the set uh, Niagara variable uh, in 32, the name is uh, Namex. And I'm gonna okay, drop here and then change to the eight. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste this um white. This is not num x num y. Okay, next one is I'm gonna get uh, the post x to d and also do a convert to the variable date yet. And, and I'm gonna drop the Niagara. So and then I'm gonna set Niagara. Texture variable texture. This one. The name is called text. And here I'm gonna uh, and then I'm gonna get the scale text as well. And then I'm gonna convert it to break one. And then I'm gonna be paste here. And then make it here. The name is scale. Okay, so I'm gonna connect all of them here, 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 here. So, but it's, it doesn't have a data of uh, the variable. So, what we can do is uh, uh, use a TE actor variable. So, we already uh, made it on the CV talks. That is an event dispatcher. So, as you see here, so if you call, uh, if you call the this function, so you can get the event this one. okay so i forgot uh, a new i forgot that the new parameter not the two new parameter is an um, x next one is um what and load load and the and compile and i'm gonna get num x i'm gonna get num y connect here yeah cool i'm gonna compile it so i'm gonna delete this one and let's do it again yes Okay, uh, if you uh, get the, if you receive the box, so I'm gonna set the variable each of them. I'm gonna set post dx, I'm gonna set scale one, I'm gonna set amex, I'm gonna set the number one, and I'm gonna connect it here, here, and also connect it to all of them. And I'm gonna code uh, this set to Niagara Pass on the event tick so that is a uh, uh coded each frame no every frame 
そこにはセットオーダーセットナイアガラからエンドコンパイルそうセットルナイアガラシステムトゥヒルアンガラセットルエネスジェネプロティコエンドコンパイルセーブエンデンアジャスインケースアンガラアセレクトアンガラスペスファイルデポートパルトゥデスクスアシクスエンドコンパイルセーブオッケーエンドアンガラプレイスタル BP ジェネプロティコキュー But it has a little bit problem if you change the、uh, scale and、uh, position, always、uh, place in the、uh, 000. So sometimes it happens when you use the Niagara,、mm. but I know how to fix it. Okay, so if you go to the、uh, Niagara system, very easy to fix it. So just、uh, check on the local stand c o m p a n e set. And if you remove it, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna also. So, I'll、uh, place the TE receive tox and then、uh, I'm gonna select the TE after receive tox. Receive tox is an MX k a t So, let's see how it works. So, it takes a little bit time to load the、uh, touch, touch engine. So, if you see, so it seems correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Wow, nice. That's nice. If you change the number、uh, X and Y, so for example, any and any, so if you、uh, make it change it with the high value、uh, variable, so let's see, yeah, still work, still work. Wow, that's cool, that's cool. So really, all right. So next step,、uh, do an audio reactive. So I'm gonna change the、uh, tox. So let's go back to the touch design. I'm gonna close the e n g i n e and I'm gonna open the elastic grid tox、uh, again.、Mm, okay. I'm back to the touch designer. So, first of all, I'm gonna、uh, add the new、uh, custom parameter that is、uh, audio and then、uh, that is a file parameter. Parameter cool. And then I'm gonna dive into here and then let's. So, I'm gonna add audio and audio file again. So, and then I'm gonna add the audio analysis from the palette and I'm gonna connect here. I'm gonna change it a little bit. So, let's turn on the mid, turn on the high, and I'm gonna add、uh, the flash. And I'm gonna drop to the flash for the mid. And I'm gonna increase the gain and also smooth, increase the gain. Right. So, I'm gonna、uh, use that. Uh, only three、uh, because it's a tutorial, but it's if you、uh, use them more, so you can do it.、Uh, so I'm gonna add the new, I'm gonna move comp, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna save at the select, and I'm gonna select the low mid i and I'm gonna add the o out, and the name is o d e n audio out, and then also with the audio itself,、uh, device out, yes, yes. and then if you connect here. Yes, we can hear the sound. So we can、uh, get the top、uh, parameter in the touch engine. I'm gonna show it how to do that. Let's、uh, select the audio file. So go to the Windows C and the program file, and you can search the derivative and touch is in a sample of audio and the g e n e r a t i v e And then I'm gonna copy parameter. And I'm gonna、uh, paste the request. And then I'm gonna save the component as well. And I'm gonna rephrase it. Okay, so let's、uh, quit the touch designer. So let's open again. And then、uh, you can see the app change to、uh, blah blah blah. We can import that again. So、uh, let's open the TE receive talk. Oh my gosh. So, I'm gonna show you how to、uh, get the chop value、uh, from the touch engine. So, basically, it's the same. I'm gonna copy and paste the touch engine component. And I'm gonna get the、uh, touch engine output.、Uh, the, uh, oh, I need to reload t o x So, if you do that, loading.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we can get the audio out. So, I'm gonna specify. Audio out. And then, next is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna、uh, type the chop. So, you can get the query, and I'm gonna the branch and the bit array. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna get channel by name, and the name is also as well. And then also, I'm gonna the branch and I'm gonna、uh, break touch and chop output. And then the sample is one, get the left in the one, and I'm gonna promote variable. So, then I'm gonna call it.、Uh, 
from. So uh, that is the way to get the job uh, variable. So you need to get the uh, channel uh, first, and after that you can get the sample. Okay, so I'm gonna be and paste it. I'm gonna group to move it back, but it's not the whole. I'm gonna change this for meet, and I'm gonna promote variable. I'm gonna call it meet. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna promote variable. I'm gonna name it highest. The channel name is Okay, so I'm gonna add the new sequence. So I'm gonna move it last one and first one is all low. And this next is a uh, meet and the last one is. So also I need to change the uh, event description. So let's there's three monthly parameter and the float. Float. Float and the first is float meet. Right, so it can't change the name, so I'm gonna delete and I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna connect all of them for 6 to d scale 2 d uh, num x, num x, num y, draw, uh, mid, high. Right, so I'm gonna compile it. And so let's go back to the Niagara Protis. So Niagara Protocol. So I'm gonna add the new uh, user parameters. Uh, new float is a uh, low float float meet new one the low high. So when we gonna uh, uh, so we're gonna make the new module uh, to apply the uh, uh, audio. So if you go down there, you can see the new flash part module. I'm gonna change the name to fly audio. Don't worry, it's not difficult. So I'm gonna do first of all the float and all the compute and next one is the effect no the lost and next one is a noise no blocked and uh, i'm gonna call it noise and the first one is there uh low but i'm gonna call it carp and i'm gonna add the mark mark and the plus my user numeric value and it's my user numeric bar. And I'm gonna play the velocity. Play, play. And I'm gonna the clamp. And I'm gonna change it to the float and the max as well. And zero to 50. And I'm gonna uh, connect here. I'm gonna change the P to the float. And this is six. And I'm gonna connect the noise here. And then I'm gonna add the at and I'm gonna change the numeric value to load and then this is this is a piece of velocity so the protocol will at least has a uh, 15 uh, velocity for uh, z value so and then first of all uh, this one is a multiple and I'm gonna uh, connect curve to here so now finally make a vector so they did here, and I already break this one on X, Y, and the last three. I'm gonna have the velocity. Then I'm gonna press and then I'm gonna change order uh, before scale card day. And I'm gonna put the uh, variable, so audio amplitude is. So I'm gonna choose that. Right, and then curve is a curve, your search curve. So I'm gonna. Get the difference, and I'm gonna have the key here. I'm gonna change the to the blank, and this is one. And I'm gonna put the variable like here. Time is two and two. And the noise is uh, to use such a sample, and I'm gonna use sample V and the text. Yes, see, it looks like that. Then also, I'm gonna permit to the dynamic mist, it's gonna be uh, you know, the, uh, illuminated uh, by the mid part. So now compile on this. So let's back to the blueprint PP gene protocol. So now we're gonna set the low and the mid and high. So I'm gonna promote variable low and I'm gonna promote variable mid, promote variable high and connect them. 
And then after we set the scale text. So we're gonna set the low and high as well. My years are low and I call it low. And I'm gonna be in the paste here. Here, this is for mid, this is for high. And I'm gonna get low, uh, mid, high, and the connect, 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 connect. So now compile it and say that you need to specify the name of the audio. This one in the TE list input and you can see the audio. So if you go to the, uh, yeah, you can choose it whatever, it, whatever you want. So I'm gonna use the TV touch it, uh, samples, audio. Now I'm gonna uh, copy pass and I'm gonna paste it. And I don't need to this one. Select. Okay, so compile in the range. So let's see it. So you can see it. Oh, I forgot to connect this one. Uh, and then I made so I think it's gonna be correct. I'll do that again. That worked nice, but it's a little bit, uh, this is a little bit strong. So I'm gonna change my light mode and meet it here and 0 0.2, compile, save it. And so I'm gonna delete raw, also I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete exponential for kayaking sphere, same sky sphere, parameter files. And then I'm gonna place, I'm gonna place the zero particle here is the one. And then I'm gonna, uh, duplicate it, so I'm gonna and rotate it and it's minus 100 i'm gonna duplicate another one i'm gonna uh, rotate it minus 90 and then it's minus 50 and the y is 50 so i'm gonna duplicate it another one gonna change the rotation and this is my 50 and then i'm gonna add another one I'm gonna rotate this one and then zero and you know, mine. Also, I'm gonna rotate this one and this is it. Yes, cool. And also, I'm gonna add the cine camera here yeah. and then the location is minus 1500 and 1500 and this is uh, 940 and then power is minus 25, that is only 5. And then we're gonna change the uh, focal length to uh, 110. And I'm gonna change the focus as well. So I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna click here. So yeah, here, yeah, we can match there. Uh, uh, oh, so in this kind of, I'm gonna save all the real time. And then, uh, save it. And let's go the open level print. And then I'm gonna drag the cine camera to here. And the prayer. I'm gonna add, uh, set to target to blend. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna send the compile. Save it. So let's do that. So it takes a time. And after that, Yeah, that's it. So if you like this tutorial, please uh, please push the like button and uh, subscribe my channel. And uh, if you have any comment on the request, uh, leave the comment uh, in the below. And I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, you, you can improve your VJ and you can expand your VJ. So I'm always uh, want to help uh, your VJ. I really want to help your project as well. So see you guys next tutorial. Bye.